Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to her and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. We need her junior discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. First and foremost, make sure you subscribe to this channel because we are going to be doing a giveaway really soon. Now, Flying Dublin, every time I think, please, Flying Cheese Man Gods, just give me a, you know, a 20 minute break i have to be doing overtime after overtime I have, this whole month of tiktok cheese man has been brrrring, booming you feel me but aside from that let's go ahead and get started with this week's chia of the week and it goes to Crank. it's weird how i'm all invested in this children's drama feed me more Zavink. now the first thing that we're actually gonna be talking about did you guys see that fabio guerrera was actually called out because recently some young man that i guess was talking to jay or dating jay the one that's talking to fabio now allegedly he came out and basically said that fabio's a bop i guess bop's like the new word on tiktok <laughs> everybody's getting called a bop you're a bop you're a bop bop it the only bop it i know is that little bop it bop it but they're saying boppity here boppity there and i'm saying you're flat you do but i guess that's like the new word nowadays a bop is that like the same thing as an app yeah, this is saying my fabio guerrera has been playing on me since day one i'm gonna tell you how so pretty much Bro hit me up on TikTok on some cool shit talking about, damn, bro, you're hard. Oh, I've been listening to your music. You're tough. All this crazy shit, right? Y'all don't believe me? I bet. Bro, you can't be that good. I've been listening to your stuff, bro. You go crazy. I ain't gonna lie. At the time, I was hyped. You feel me? Because, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, after the fact, they hit me up on TikTok. We went over to Discord, and then we started chopping it up. And that's when we started working on a song on Discord as well. Y'all don't believe me? I got you. Boom, 18 minutes, 37 minutes, and there's more calls, you feel me? So we was there chopping it up for a minute and working on a song, right? But that's not even the craziest part. So after the fact, me and him, we both locked in into making a song. I don't know where bro stops talking to me. Like a week, two weeks later, stops talking to me, zero connection whatsoever. This is where shit starts getting crazy. Around this time, this is when me and Jay actually broke up. But this is the crazy part right here, y'all. Bro decides to pop out like this. After the fact that he stopped talking to me, then I noticed that he don't follow me on TikTok and also on IG. You feel me? So, hey, Fabio, if you watching this, just know, boy, you a snake and you a now i do think it's a little bit suspicious because you know fabio was reaching out to him kind of like you know supportive and then he unfollowed him and then he took his girl and then gave the girl the mine, mine, mine. but make sure to comment down below what do you guys think of the whole situation and did you guys see a whole update on tessa i guess amanda's mom came out and she responded to the situation and she was actually in tears and had this to say My hi guys this is maribel amanda's mom um <clears throat> I wanted to make a quick video and not to anybody in specific, just to anybody who wants to listen. I received um, a lot of messages from people who care about Amanda and people who want to know if she's okay. And the short answer to that is no. She's not okay. She's not doing okay. I had promised Amanda that I wasn't going to get involved because this whole situation has nothing to do with Amanda. But the fact that Amanda has to remove her videos, deactivate her comments, is insane. But what's really, really crazy and sad is that she has people on her DMs asking her to herself, asking her to take away her. I would understand all that hate if Amanda really did something, but to go based on a trend just because you guys see other people calling her names? But you guys claim to be on the good team? Really? 
Have you guys even listened to when Meche has said clearly that Amanda has nothing to do with this? Have you guys even listened? If you guys are going to be on the good team, be on the good team because you guys are good people. Not to follow a trend. I don't know why they're attacking Amanda. <laughs> Amanda has absolutely nothing to do with it. Amanda has nothing to do with it. You know, Tessa, on the other hand, she took a passport. Do you guys understand how important that is, taking a picture of a passport? I'm not trying to, you know, keep continuing this, dragging this on. But for a 15-year-old, I already told you, that's mujeres asesinas type of action. But make sure to comment down below what you guys think. The next thing that we're actually going to be talking about, somebody else, I guess, new characters, new characters after new characters are developing here. You guys have to keep on track. I know you guys are like, who's that? We just, who's that? Who's that? Now, I guess this young lady named Melanie uh, broke up with this guy named Julian. I'm not too quite sure. But my that i'm starting to notice in these tiktok couples like a pattern is that uh, why are they all abusive to each other <laughs> like one hits another and then the girl comes out well i mean yes he hit me but i also hit him and give him the minka 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 is this the modern dating y'all y'all like to give each other some minks why is the sun shining bright like a diamond in the dust what the flying dublin looks like i have like a whole line going through what the flying dublin is this <laughs> flying dublin now it's in my eyes really fool really mother nature doesn't want the cheese today but this happened with the melanie my God. when he cheated on me that's right when he cheated on me he cried to me he begged me and i was like you know what i comforted him hugged him and then after that i ended up telling him if you want to stay with me things are gonna go my way so what do you think what do you think i'm gonna feel i'm gonna i'm not gonna trust you no more so things are gonna go the way that I want them to go, which they never ended up going the way I wanted them to go. Ma majority of the time, they never ended up going the way that I wanted to go. So what he's gonna tell you guys is that I controlled him, which majority of the time I didn't because he would not let me. You literally cheated on me. I'm not. You think I'm not gonna feel some type of way about this? It's five girls next to you. Uh, this was uh, this year that I put my hand on him. Last year, when we would go to Hurricane Harbor, um, I would see him staring at girls and he would like try to get super close to them and stuff. And I was like, brought up, and I think I was gonna leave. And he grabbed me, and he me. And there was an old, there was like literally nobody because it was about to close. But luckily there was an older lady, like one row in front of us. And she heard him screaming. She turned around and she looked at him and he was like, she was like, hey. And she stopped him and um, she was like, bro, if, if some older guys here would have seen you do that, they would have rocked your They would have rocked Because he cheated on me because I was insecure. Well, I don't want to use that word, but you put this weight on me to not be able to trust you and you do all of this, my anger is gonna build inside of me and I'm gonna have to end up. And then yeah, he knew, he knew, and I'm not saying it's okay. I'm not saying that it's okay to put your hands on somebody, but I'm not, I'm just saying that I wasn't the only one putting hands because he was the first one to ever put his on me. First one. And then one time um, I was in a room, I was in the gym room with him and I'm gonna explain um, a shirt I have right now, a shirt that I have blood on. I'm we were in the room and I had mentioned because remember when I told you guys that a lot of girls would text me telling me of that he would like be super close to other girls around school well one of the girls like I had gotten really close to her and she had told me that she had a boyfriend and that Julian would like Julian tried sitting next to her on the bus Julian had bumped into the girl with her boyfriend in the hallway and her boyfriend got mad and he told Julian something and yeah they didn't fight they just left it alone and so yeah, the guy was keeping an eye, an eye on Julian because Julian was getting way too close to the girl. And she got on the bus and Julian sat next to her and she got up and moved seats. That's what she told me. And I was like, bro, like you literally don't even let me talk to guys. What are you doing sitting next to girls on? Why, what are you doing sitting next to girls on the bus? I want you to be honest to me about this girl. Did you actually sit on the bus with her because you would tell me that it wasn't true? I was like, well, I already found, like, I already found out this. Like, can you tell me the truth about this? I just wanna know. And he was like, no. He, like he just got so defensive about it and I was like look, look don't lie to me because I'll call her right now I'll call her right now and I'll tell her to explain everything again to me in front of your face He was like well then do it well then do it and I called her I was like hey can you tell me what he did that one day she explains everything and then he was like I was like so I'm lying so she's lying like what like he was like yeah I'm lying like she's lying and then he was like you're so secure and that's when I got up and I boom and I didn't know that I his nose and his nose is very sensitive guys his nose has always been sensitive so he started bleeding and he, I, he got blood all over his shirt he took it off and he dipped and that's why every time we just now i didn't know who these people was but i saw my tiktok they had 20,000 concurrent viewers so i joined and i started hearing the damn cheese man <laughs> 
I even gave them some roses. Y'all know I like to donate some roses. They give me some cheese and I give them some cheddar. It's a deal for a deal. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. Make sure to take a second and pause and subscribe. It matters right now that we have a little bit of subscribers. We're trying to go booming, 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 booming on this channel. Sub, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Follow my social medias and I really do appreciate you guys, even Mother Nature.